Welcome everybody to the continuing exercises on the Let's Defend platform. This is going to be a hard continuation of the previous video, SOC 119, Event ID 83. This is SOC 104, Event ID 84. Dated March 21st, 2021 at 1.04 p.m. This is for malware detection. This is centered around the WinRAR 600.exe that would have been pulled down uh, as we covered in the last exercise from the Win-RAR. So it's a quick point. The domain itself, no problem. The actual download link. Again, no problem. The IP address that, uh, for that domain, again, no problem. That's virus total. And then the same exact thing holds true for Talos Intelligence. Favor favorable web reputation. And it all just kind of points back to exactly what we would expect. The hash given is a little bit different but I've pulled down the file as was outlined in the alert and run it through virus total. And refresh the detection. So this is current as of time of recording. Absolutely no detections, unlike the previous installer. Uh, let's see. So we want to, whoa. Show me anything with that installer. We got multiple things. These are all basically centered around, so sure. Malicious activity. I don't really believe it, but sure, let's run through and take a look. Uh, let's see, that was the actual install. Uh, and then let's run and take a look to see if there's any hash in hybrid analysis. There is! And this has been whitelisted. So we'll take the... Let's see, that looks like it's a 32-bit edition that was pulled down. Well, regardless. We'll take February 16th on the 64-bit. This is the installer. So... Let's see. Yeah, same thing that we would kind of expect. WinRAR is going to be just the same. Yep, go through, download, install, open up. Yes, everything works perfectly fine. So what's the suspicious? Oh, the DLL. Drop from process. Yeah, well, interesting. So, suspicious, not necessarily actually malicious. Oh, so everything just kind of... Nothing really stands out then. So this looks like it's just the again, direct continuation. Pulled down the file from... Uh, perfectly legitimate website, the vendor's website, and had the sucker run. But because of the fact that we do not have a working endpoint management agent on the actual box, we can't really make any sort of real full-on determination if there's anything else kind of going on. But as it being malware detected, I wouldn't go so far as to say that in the slightest. But that should be effectively everything that we need so we will move forward with the playbook this will probably be a very quick video thinking about it I probably should have just merged this into the SOC 119 but all right so it's been sandboxed start playbook Oh, 
this was supposed to be other. Was it quarantined or cleaned? Well, considering the fact that the action was allow, we're going to say no. Analyze it. It does not appear to be malicious. So it looks like a full-on false positive. That refreshes. We're going to close the alert. We're going to mark it as a false positive. FP. Let's do... No malware. This is a legit installer for the WinRAR application pulled from the vendor's website. Close alert. Huh. False positive, but the whole thing about it being quarantined and malicious. Hmm. Okay, uh, this might just be a, sh uh, a bad data point. Hang on, I'm going to pause the uh, recording here, and then I'll reach out to see as to whether or not if I can get confirmation. Okay, I'm fairly certain that's going to be incorrect. It's probably just a, a mess up, but I have raised it to the team. We will see what shakes out from it. So I guess if you end up running through this and doing it side by side, well, if it ends up biting you, I apologize if I get it switched, but everything with this smells like a false positive but um, I will append a note to the video description in the event that this is something that gets resolved if not not really gonna sit there and fret too much in regards to it it's two points though I would like confirmation that yes okay I am on right on that but irregardless all this completes SOC 104, malware detected, event ID 84, and should, I believe, be the last exercise for March 21st, 2021 at 1.04 p.m. Let's just double check. Yeah. So we're going to keep working backwards in time, I think. So we'll have four exercises for March 15th. But irregardless, that is then, not now. So I will see everybody in the next video.